Okay, okay, so we unloaded the car with the trailer. Had nothing but problems. Come here, Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> now we're having COVID. But no, seriously. Let's smile. At, the carburetors are fouled, fouled every plug in the car. Distributor of time was way off. It's backfiring after crazy. So Mike Kelly. Uh, take it, two. <laughs> Mike Kelly let me use the carburetors. Stuck them on there and finally made me a pass. Missed second gear and got it in the second gear finally and just decided I'm going to run a quarter and run it down through there and shift it. Run a 10 and an 8 because it's terrible. I, I held the line lock when I took off off the line, didn't let go of the line lock, left it about three. But I fought the car all day long and finally got one horrible pass in, but I did go down the track. So I turned it to 8,000 RPM in a water box and she was humming. So, Jerry's got a gasher. We're going to go start harassing him now. Yeah. There's more to come, people. <laughs> all right. Two pound light. Yeah. There we go. That, that ain't no way. That's just, 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 I'm finally done and we're going to drag it out, right? <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.
If anybody should have improved more, the way he just, the way he ran today was fantastic. Uh, in the other Flyer 63 Ford Falcon, finishing number eight in the points. <laughs> They're gonna be hero card folks there. <laughs> Another great performance today. Move this driver to the number six position. It's one of the most unique cars in the Southeast Jazz circuit. Put down a string of pretty much flawless runs today. The world's only four speed drag racing Ford Falcon and Gaster. Jimmy off the hook, you like it. <laughs> Last year's champion ended up finishing number five today. He also had a good run in today's eliminations. You know him best as the driver of the Pale Rider, yellow 55 Chevrolet. Ladies and gentlemen, 2014 champion number five this year, Shannon Smith. <laughs> Get her picture. The <laughs> driver's actually lost positions today, and he was one of the fastest cars on the property. 69 year old Wilford, South Carolina veteran Sonny Burr, the wheel of the Avenger. <laughs> Thank you, Sonny. Wow, you're the first person to watch Queen in this picture. Sonny, what are you Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, finishing number three in our point standing. Get a brand new ride. You get to look at him again. This is the one and the only Meech Scott, as he's referred to by his family. M E E T C H, Meech. Where are you, Meech? The Don Baker, Boogie Mandela, third place. And here comes Mitch. Oh, it's just start, it's actually another trophy. That's okay. Why are you backing up? Where you want to camera? No one there, he's going to Okay. I can't get nobody to go get him, and if he don't want to come, we just want to Everybody good? We're happy to be here. Yeah, I'll tell you that. Better. A bit of confusion going on out here. Second place because of his performance today. You know, in the semifinal round, we had Ford versus Chevy on one side of the ladder, Ford versus Chevy on the other side of the ladder. And one of those Fords was the deep, the State Fight Mustang from Bell, South Carolina, Jeremy Finley, who finished number three in the points. Or no, number two in the points. I'm sorry. He moved up from third to second. Family, not Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad you said that because I'd have got this side. <laughs> <laughs> I follow Thank you, Thank you. Thank y'all. Stop, 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 our racers, more than any other on the planet, whether it be nitro racers and funny cars or gasters and all and all that stuff, does its best to present drag racing from literally 50 years ago. That's a tough chore to present drag racing as it was 50 years ago. My point is, our point champion this year wasn't even born until 1993. Yeah. Yet, he has turned into an ambassador for not just this group, but for the earliest days of drag racing with people his age. Anybody that would come to one of these events would expect people like Gene Cromer or even Dwayne to be driving these cars. Anybody over 50? Not over 50, yeah. Look at it. Anyway, the very fact. Always one. <laughs> <laughs>
the very fact that he has become, like I said, an ambassador to a generation that none of us could reach should earn him an award, but the very fact that he can drive a 97 inch wheelbase angle with a four speed at 10,000 RPM small block and not put it over the wall is something nobody else his age can really claim to do. He's one of a kind. I said over the PA earlier today, I guess when you've got two world champions in your family, it's pretty hard not to succeed. But actually, that's, giving him, that's not giving him the credit that he deserves because he is a phenomenal national driver. What he did today wasn't his best effort, but it was the biggest moment of his life. One round win, made him our point champion this year. He's only 22 years old, but he's just as tough, tough of a member of this family as anybody else. Our point champion gets the Silver Spadoon Award, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! The driver of the White And you get to talk. Not before he gets this. Oh boy. What about one now? Here, let me take this out of the picture while you're getting it. Oh, there's a great picture. There's the cover of Greg Illustrated next month. Let it go, Tom. Let it go, Tom. Yeah! I still got to be at work Monday morning. <laughs> oh, Brett, uh, I tried to think about what I made today or how I didn't go about this, but you summed it up all into one. You really did. Uh, I'm not sure if final words have been spoken about me personally, and I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, and I really can't thank anybody enough. I really cannot. I mean, Wayne, Wayne offered me this 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 ride, I guess I should say, at an angler that was nowhere near period correct, I guess three years ago now. Yeah, uh, before Southeast Gasters was really an association. Uh, and from that, I shook his hand firmly at Mountain View Barbecue that day at lunch, and here we come. Uh, built the car, changed things about it, watched Wayne get pissed off. We've been pissed off at each other a few times, I promise. Uh, but to be here today is the the 2015 Southeast Jazz World Champion was something that I never thought that that Angley would do, much less myself. And I mean that. Uh, when we first started testing here, my first pass in the left lane, I think it was, uh, the car made a tremendous move left, and I never got the clutch on anything with four speed in my life. Uh, and I guess the grace of God kept me going across the wall that day. Uh, but as a whole, growing through this group, with this group, as a person, as a driver, as a friend, getting to talk to Brett last night in the motorhome, just icons of progress like yourself, Brett, knowing that Southeast Gasters has opened that door, much less who knows what else. It's just, it's just really an accomplishment to myself to know that Wayne's put this together and somehow or another that angler got this championship road this year. And I'll be back next year. We're going to have some more horsepower and a few suspension changes, so maybe we'll get another one. And I thank everybody, I really do. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Mark Wayne, I said, well, he's, he was talking about opening doors for the people that have opened doors for him. He has actually opened doors for this association because once again, he's reaching people that none of us could have reached. We're all a little idiots as far as most of the kids are concerned. That, I mean, let's face it, we were all kids at one time. Did we listen to anybody who was over 50? Hell no. <laughs> He's the voice of what might be the future of Southeast Kansas. Yeah. 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 Now there's one more man who needs a round of applause. That's the guy who allows us to come here twice a year, beginning of the year and the end of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, he gave you a perfect racetrack today. He gave you a full house of spectators. You presented the show that everybody wanted. Everybody was happy at the end of this day, including track owner Mike Greer. Yeah! Thank you. Thank you. Anything you'd like to say, my friend? I thank Clayton and the whole bunch that Greg helped to get through the winter. So we appreciate everybody coming out. No, thank you. And this is it, the last one you're ever going to hold, right? <laughs>
Just, just want to make sure we got it going now, or it'll be salted on Christmas. What? Vice one what? I didn't hear that. The last Southeast Gasser race, this was it. Did you hear us say that? Oh, it might be. He might keep me out. <laughs> in my trouble, hey, if I give you in my trouble, in my trouble, I'll give my career in life two or three weeks. Ready to be, I'm giving it from Jeff and May and May. I'm surprised he let us come back. I hope he will. Yeah, we'll be in the mood, my friend. That's right. Like I said, he'll, he'll get over all this by the break back. Well, other than that, it needs to be said that, like all racing circuits, it turns into a little little family group. Uh, but this one's getting pretty tight. Three years now, uh, a lot more dates, a lot of uh, recognition throughout the industry. And we were talking last night about the fact that recognition nowadays is hard. It's not getting on TV and getting magazines anymore. Uh, you have to really work to make an imprint, uh, especially in sport. Every one of you here has done that. The show you put on today was fantastic. Take that from the guy who has to sell it to people in Spain. It was a fantastic show. The crowd loved it. They stayed until the end. And the best part about the Southeast Gasters is the career dragway aspect of starting at 12 and finishing at 5, which you did. And I hope every one of you heard me, Brett Geffner, say over the PA after the second round of eliminations, the Southeast Gasters race, the Southeast Gasters racers did a fantastic job of getting this thing back on time. And we did. We finished by 5 o'clock with a major crash and an oil down. You guys did a fantastic job. And that's the key to the success of this circuit. A four hour show. This is the only drag racing circuit in the world anymore that people can show up and watch the first round of qualifying and see the final round. Every other circuit in the world takes eight hours to do that. Minimum. You guys were able to run four rounds of eliminations and two rounds of qualifying in five hours. That is something to be proud of, and that's why you guys are right now the leader in this type of race. Congratulations, Paul. Thank you. Nobody wants to hear playing, do they? Brett Gaffer's bragging on this show getting done in five, four hours, whatever. I ain't give up. They two people deserve the credit for that. And that's D. Bragg and Greg Walton. Yeah. Yeah. Those guys are the ones that take care of all this stuff. Come on, walk out here, right? Hey, come on. Come on. <laughs> it, I'm sorry I didn't put the bank together better than I did. It's, it's not a bank. <laughs> it's a war. <laughs> anyway, D. Bragg. Y'all ready to know how hard they work, a lot of fans on this. I will promise you, I cannot do this without. And they get they get all these ladder sheets you all getting ready. They're the ones that come around and they, you know how they bitch at you when you're not ready to go, but we want this show done and that's what the fans will see. So, they make my career job. They make my job easy. They make everybody's job easy. So they, they, are, they used to do boat races. So they're used to doing stuff. They know how to do it. And, Anyway, I just thank you. Thank you. Like I said, folks, everybody here did a great job this year, and uh, I don't want to use too many personal pronouns here, but obviously I see a lot of races uh, throughout the year, and I I definitely love to come to the spring and fall race here at Greer because it is such a cool show because the fans are so responsive because it's the only real gas racing on the planet. Uh, it's, it's all because of you. You've all done amazing things and let's keep it up for next year. Happy, Thank you. Happy you. winter. Yay. See you next year. Good job. Very good. Yes, thank you. I enjoyed that win, Mike. Probably more than you. Bad luck. Appreciate it. That was cool. No, I love seeing you guys. You know that. First announcer I've ever seen. Great kid. Oh yeah. The man. He's a man. The voice of the world. 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 He's done it all and been it all. Yeah. Huh? I said he's done it all and been it all. I didn't get a world. chance to say hi to you except for the one time you were leaning over the motor and you. Hi. I think you every time I put on my shirt. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, okay, excellent. I'll be over. All right, let's load them up. Yeah, I got to pull I'm them apart. You, you got to name the raccoon Scully. <laughs> Scully. Scully. There it is, okay. folks. Scully, Scully it is. Scully. 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 I was telling him he came to us last night. He said, Dude. We called him like. And he turns out, yeah, that's awesome. it's unreal. That's awesome. Until keep, somebody shoots you keep putting him out a little cat food for him, he'll be your friend forever. <laughs> yeah. That's it's really Tell cool. Tell the racers yeah, do not go home till they get paid. Then he'll be standing up there with his hand out. Here's an. 
test. Here's an announcement only Queen Stock would be stupid enough to think that you didn't already know. He doesn't want you to go home until you get paid. Uh -oh. Hey, racers! Don't forget to get paid! <laughs> well, trailer's back and cars are unloaded. And this is a wrap on the Southeast Gassers and Calamity Jane's first time out ever. Uh, I just want to thank Dennis. Thank you so much for letting me use your truck. I wouldn't have been down there without it. And uh, Bones, Tony, I really appreciate you letting me use your trailer. I can't thank you guys enough. And Most important, Dad, I can't thank Dad. He's been there no matter what. Helped me build this entire car. Showed me how to build a car. And it's, all in all, I think it was a success. I told everybody I'd have it ready by the final race, and I had it ready by the final race. So. 90 days to build an entire car. We figured out how many days a week and whatever. It combined about 90 days since I got the car to the house. So, that ain't too bad. But I mean, I built every piece of the car. It wasn't just me bolt this on and drop the motor. No, we built every piece. I mean, every piece of that car. Uh, everybody that donated parts, Carrie Fox helped me out with the uh, intake, Sunny Burr, the ladder bars, the bell housing, Cole and his whole motor. Uh, Bobby Turner, YouTube, he sent me a set of heads, which is the heads that's going to be going on it. And then 600 lift springs might give me a different cam or something. Uh, David Cade, just everybody. Thank you all for helping me all the time, being a part of the, the build and welding stuff here and there and doing what she does. She's learning. So Colton, can't thank him enough. Casey coming out and filming. Just everybody who's been a part of the car, been supporting the car. I just want to thank all y'all. So hopefully I'll fix it and make some passes down to Shadyside. Jim was telling me that Shadyside stays open for two more weeks, so maybe I'll swap the heads because that thing is poor. It's just smoking so bad, just pouring the smoke. Uh, so I'm guessing it's uh, valve seats on them old heads because it's done that ever since Colton put that motor together. So I think I'm gonna pull the heads, uh, rebuild my carburetors one more time, get them right, and uh, maybe take it to Shadyside. Try to leave a line at 6,000 because when we run down there at uh, Greer, I turned it to eight in the water box, which was awesome. And I brought it up there and staged it and went to go take off and only turned it to about three and didn't let go of the line lock and didn't get into second gear until almost the end of the eighth mile. And then I went ahead and went through second, third, and fourth, and about running into the trees. But it was fun. I'm I'm tickled. And thanks, Mike Cowan, for letting me use them carburetors. Mike pulled the carburetors off his car. Mine were good when I loaded it and must have blew a power valve or something at some point or did something stupid. I'm going to pull them apart and see. It was a success. We're going to make it go a little quicker now. But we're good straight. But it's all that matters.